Good morning. Let me read to you from Jeremiah 42, verses 19 through 22. It says, Listen, you remnant of Judah. The Lord has told you, do not go to Egypt. Don't forget this warning I have given you. For you are not being honest when you sent me to pray to the Lord your God for you. You said, just tell us what the Lord our God says and we will do it. And today... I've told you exactly what he said, but you will not obey the Lord your God any better now than you have in the past. So you can be sure that you will die from war, famine, and disease in Egypt where you insist on going. Now this is taken from that section of Jeremiah where Israel has already been taken to Babylon as captives. There's a small remnant that was left in the city of Jerusalem, and they were left there to tend the farms and the vineyards on behalf of Nebuchadnezzar. And they're the king's vineyards now. Gedaliah had been left as the governor of the area. He was the one who had been left in charge. But some of the people who had fled from Jerusalem and fled into the to the hillsides uh, from the Babylonian army. Once the Babylonian army left, they came back to Jerusalem. Gedaliah let them settle in there. Well, they assassinated Gedaliah. <clears throat> now, this remnant was afraid that the Babylonians were going to return and destroy them. That's why they sent Jeremiah to pray for them. But there was one problem. They weren't interested in hearing what the Lord wanted them to do. They had already decided to head to Egypt. They just wanted the Lord to bless their plans. You know, reading this today, I couldn't help but wonder how many times I have come to the Lord with my mind already made up, just asking him to bless my plans. How many times have I ignored his will? How many times have I come telling him what the plan for my life should be rather than listening to hear his plan? How many times have I not been honest as I've prayed to the Lord? How many times have I told him I would follow him, but knowing I had already had my plans formed? And regardless of the answer to any of those questions, the good thing is this. I have an opportunity to do better today. This morning, I can do better. I can seek his will and do it. I can pray instead of just asking him to bless my plans. I can listen for his plans. Pray with me. Lord, today we ask that you would show yourself, that you would reveal your will. And Lord, this day, rather than approaching you and asking you to bless our plans, we desire to come before you and ask for your plans. What is it you desire us to do today? Who is it you desire us to reach out to today? Who do you want us to forgive today? And Lord, we come to you today asking for you to show us your will so that we might follow your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends. Have a good day.